Okay, so this is a real quick video. I uh, had trimmed a bunch of 308 brass quite a long time ago when I was first breaking in a new rifle. Uh, and I reloaded these a couple times and they stretched a lot. They're, they're Federal Premium Gold Metal. And um, so I had two of the same batch. If you look on the back, <laughs> I've also had some that had no batch number on them before. But on these particular ones, they had the batch number here. And I ended up buying two of the exact same batch, assuming that they had the same brass, same primers, same everything. So after I shot both of them twice and reloaded them twice, I trimmed the brass and um, neck sized them. Well, now I'm going to go to reload them, and I realized that if I put my finger on them, uh, I can still feel a little bit of something that's not smooth on there. So, what I did, <coughs> uh, I got this tool, the Lyman tool, for Christmas, uh, which I didn't used to have a deburring tool, chamfer and deburring tool. So, uh, I just used my cutter. It was a, it's a Lee cutter that has a built-in chamfer and deburring tool. And it does a good job, but on these particular cases I can tell they're still a little rough. So what I'm doing today is I'm taking my new Le uh, Lyman chamfer and deburring tool, sticking it in there, giving it three or four turns, each way, uh, on each side I should say, and it's actually really doing a great job smoothing those up. Um, it's the first time I ever used it actually, and it, it really seems to do a great job. So again, I'll show you again one more time real quick. When I go like this, I can feel a little bit of roughness, a little bit of burrs. So I'm doing the, uh, the chamfer. And you can really feel it cutting. I don't know if you can see it on the screen or not, but let's look real close. There's little tiny shavings of brass on there. This is uh, the sixth case that I've done tonight. Three or four turns, and you can feel it kind of catch and cut a little bit. You know, you don't want to destroy the thing. And then I'll do the same thing on the outside, three or four turns. Yeah, it's so much smoother. I can totally tell the difference. So that should be nice, chamfered, deburred, and ready to roll. So I'm going to do all 40 of these cases. <clears throat> and once all 40 of them are done, I'm going to measure them again and make sure the neck tension uh, seems good on all of them. Because I uh, just playing with the cases, I did come across one or two that seem like they need to have the necks resized again. So I'll resize the necks again if that's the case. But my idea is to just take these 40 and uh, reload them and use them as a batch of brass together. And that's what I'm going to do. So I really like this tool. So far it's great. These cutters are very sharp. I mean, this I would not want to rub with my fingers because I'd be afraid I'd get cut with it. Uh, it also has primer pocket cleaners and um, tools, uh, small and large primer pocket cleaners, and tools that are meant for uh, cutting out primers that have been, that need to be swaged, primers that have crimps in them. So there's a tool that can cut the crimp grooves out and for large and small primers, and a tool for cleaning large and small primers, and then of course the chamfer and deburr tool. I, this thing's great. I don't remember how much money it was, maybe 20 bucks, but it was awesome. Got it for Christmas. Love it. I've used the cleaning tools, but I never used the chamfer and deburr until today, just now on camera, and uh, really, really love them. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Catch you next time.